I want to talk to you today about ships that never sailed. Ships that never sailed. When you get over into the book of 1 Kings, the 22nd chapter, chapter, the 48th verse, the Bible says Jehoshaphat built ships of Tarsus to go to offer for gold, but they went not, for the ships were broken at Ezon Geber. Three words come forth as you begin to look at this great verse of Scripture. First thing that they speak of is ships of Tarsus. Tarsus at that time, and that word means the very hardest thing to break in that day. As they went into the mighty waters of the ocean, as the waves slammed against it, the ships of Tarsus were built to take those great waves. No matter how they thundered against that hull, the ships of Tarsus were able to go through. And where were they going? They were going to Orphra. Orphra, the place where Solomon had his gold mines. They went for the good gold, the pure gold. They went for the, so, they went for the gold and gave us a picture of us going to the gold of this city. Not the gold that is on rings, not the gold that is in watches, but that gold that is in the souls of this great city as God will put you in the harvest business of bringing them in. The next year will be, the half has not been told what next year is going to be. Promotion is coming. Promotion is coming. Please hear me. All kinds of wonderful things are breaking forth in your midst. And you say, I don't believe it. Well, it won't happen to you. But if you'll believe the prophet when he comes, God will move in your life and give you the victory. Woo! You know, disobedience kept many ships from sailing. Adam and Eve, what a wonderful opportunity they had. Born into the world, innocent, never touched by the, by the garment of sin. They walked the earth in the pleasantness of God. He walked with them. He literally went through the garden and spoke with them each evening. Also, there was a great rivers that ran through that garden. Beautiful rivers, clear rivers. There were, the garden was full of beautiful fruit, the finest you could have. Everything was there. God says, we're going to populate the earth with a people like nothing that the universe or the stars or heaven itself has seen. Adam and Eve, you're going forth to bring forth the most powerful thing that has ever been in the universe. And at that moment, they felt in their heart, oh, this is wonderful. This is great. Church, please know, in that feeling of great, Satan came. And Satan said, if you'll eat from this fruit, you can be the master of your own ship. You don't need God to guide your life because he knows when you take of that knowledge of good and evil, you will move forth like a god. And they ate of the fruit, and Adam and Eve's ship never sailed, never sailed, never sailed. 